I started uh, in this sport in, in 87, uh, racing the Dade City Raceway, um, turned pro in 95 and just kind of realized that wasn't really what I was going to do for a living. So I got into the mechanic side of it, traveled East Coast Supercrosses for a couple years and um, eventually got into the business side as a rep. I worked for uh, AXO back in the heyday in, in 96, 97. Uh, moved over to No Fear and Spy and One Industries as they were getting started. In my travels, uh, being on the road here in Florida, um, selling to the dealers, um, come up with the idea of, of a Florida motocross magazine. That's where FLMX was born. I started that in 99 and um, sold it about seven years ago and just recently purchased it back. Pretty much at the same time we bought this track, so kind of got a lot of work cut out for us. I've been in the sport for about 20 years now. I grew up racing myself. Um, my dad was a suspension guy. I took over the business from him and I uh, traveled the circuit for about four or five years with the BTO Sports KTM team. So I did that for four or five years and then actually Mike and I worked together for at FLMX Magazine. And, you know, we, we have a really good relationship, partner relationship, and um, really looking forward to working together in this new venture. Right now we're out here today doing a uh, three-day motocross camp. You know, kind of elevate the game here um, at Tampa MX. We got Kyle Chisholm, Zach Freeberg, Michael Byrne, and Troy Adams. Uh, we're out here at Tampa MX. Uh, it's under new ownership by Mike Floyd and uh, Ronnie Monk. Pretty excited to see what they're going to do with it. They got some uh, good plans in the works. We're out here doing a, a training camp, three day training camp with uh, Chisholm and uh, it's going well. It's a nice facility, good track to train on. Um, I live really close to here, so I, I come here and ride and uh, do my training and riding here. So uh, works out good. I mean, it's got it's got hard dirt, it's got soft dirt, it's got it's got a little bit of a mixture of everything. So works out to be pretty good. What's up, guys? We're out here at Tampa MX. Uh, out here uh, doing a little riding school with a few kids and. Uh, uh, pretty excited, you know, Mike and uh, Ronnie oh, taking over the track and getting everything in order. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty good and uh, they're out here doing a lot of work and uh, getting the track, the facility all uh, stepped up a notch and uh, I think it's going to go really good so I'm excited for them. Excited to have another uh, awesome track here in Florida to ride out. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's cool. I, I like giving, getting out here and giving back to some of the kids and uh, you know, I was one of those kids at one at one time, you know, not not that long ago. Uh, out here doing riding schools, trying to learn how to ride, and uh, so it's uh, it's cool for me to come out here and uh, help some kids, teach them, and uh, try to do as much as I can for them and help them with whatever they need uh, working on. And uh, I know I have some other good uh, local pros out here that uh, can teach some kids, and um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice facility here to to be able to train the kids, especially for the mini bikes, uh, up to even like 250Fs. Um, it's a really good track for all of them for training and learning. Uh, you know, all the basics and technique how to ride. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of changes that we want to make here. Um, first and foremost, facility upgrades, um, such as, you know, tearing down some of the old fence, putting up a new fence, building a new announcer tower. Um, some of the things that we're looking at doing regularly here is track changes, um, having a major track rebuild once a month. Um, we've got a new series coming up uh, starting in August. Um, and uh, we're pretty excited about that as well as a, a big grand opening plan. But uh, the, main, the main thing is cosmetics here is we're going to really dive into cosmetics of the facility and, and bring it up to a, uh, a first class local race program. You know, we're, we're excited to work with everyone and, uh, and just the relationships with the local tracks here, um, not just, you know, our immediate ones with Dade City and Sunshine, you know, which we certainly look forward to doing stuff with them you know it's, it's looking looking forward to do stuff with the other series Kenny series uh, Dean Dyes and his Florida series you know we're excited to work with everyone this place to me has got so much potential and um, you know being located in Hillsborough County in, in this major metro area of you know, Tampa Bay a lot more spectators and potential to bring in uh, sponsors from local businesses and, and getting the local dealerships back involved in the race programs uh, it's kind of one of our big goals but um, you know the potential here is huge, and and I think we've recognized that from kind of the minute we walked out here. Is you know it's a diamond in the rough, and 
and it's going to take a lot of work, but but we're willing to do it, and um, we're excited definitely the potential this facility has.